Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about strife within the body of Christ, which never happens, right? Because we're all perfect little angel Christians of the Lord. Wrong! We all know that's not true, right? Like, that's totally not true at all. As Christians, we're all sinners who need a Savior, and we still struggle with sin as we try to be like Jesus. When we are a part of Christ's community, which is the body of Christ, sometimes arguments and disagreements come up. Whether it's about certain convictions or politics or theological debates or hurt feelings or whatever it is. It not only happens within the church community today, but guess what? Disagreements within the church community happened back in Bible times as well. That leads us to our scripture today about this topic, which can be found in Philippians chapter 4, verses 2 through 3. And Paul, the apostle, writes this to the church members in Philippi. So I'm going to read that from my Bible. Now I appeal to Eodia and Syntyche. Please, please, because you belong to the Lord, settle your disagreement. And I ask you, my true partner, to help these two women, for they worked hard with me in telling others the good news. They worked along with Clement and the rest of my co-workers whose names are written in the book of life. So from what we can see in this scripture, Eodia and Syntyche seem to have been two leaders within the church at Philippi, and they were most likely having a public disagreement, and that's why Paul brought it up here. So Paul is showing concern about this and is asking them to work through their disagreement. Why? Well, because how do you think a disunifying disagreement amongst church leaders that's public will affect the body of Christ? It would affect the church negatively, right? People are already seeing disunity because of their disagreement. People may choose sides, which creates more disunity within the church. And then the situation just keeps getting worse if they don't settle their disagreement. In order to spread the good news of Jesus and to show the love of Jesus, we need to be unified in order to fulfill that mission. If people see church members and church leaders fighting, they will see Christians as being like everyone else. That will not cause people to want to draw near to Jesus. That will most likely cause them to want to run away. As Christians, we need to represent Jesus well in order to lead people to him. Opinions, disagreements, hurt feelings, political parties, theological disputes, etc. All of that can be worked through and worked out. As Christians, we need to be uni united in the most important mission ever, which is to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. At the end of the day, none of that other stuff matters nearly as much as that. Today, I challenge you to humble yourself. Ask yourself and ask God to help you work through a disagreement with a fellow believer. Have an open mind and heart. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide what you say to that person. Schedule that phone call or a time to meet with that person. Choose to create unity within the body of Christ instead of disunity. Have a blessed day.